Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. It is a pleasure to have you here. Massive day today. And I'm gonna take the camera around to show you what I get up to as a full-time reseller on eBay. I've got a lot planned and hopefully you get some value and you get some enjoyment out of it. Hey, shout out to you guys doing this as a side hustle. I know a lot of you are working a 40 hour work week and then grinding away, whether it be in the morning or at night time to build up your eBay business. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing exactly the right thing. In these videos, I like to kick it off by showing you the sales that came through overnight. That's gonna be the first task of the day. So let's get into it. Oh, and uh, if you could also give the video a, a quick subscribe as well, if you're new to the channel and uh, a like as well, that'd be very much appreciated. So the first sale we've had come in is the Sopranos, Seasons 1 and 2. I've got them right here. So Seasons 1 and 2, these are both pre-owned DVDs, but the actual sale price on this one was $28, which I was pretty happy about. I've sold Sopranos quite a bit. I do have another couple of um, Seasons 3, uh, sorry, Seasons 4 and 5. Um, so I've got Seasons 1, 2, 4 and 5. So I decided to split these up, 1 and 2, and then 4 and 5, and I did them both for $28 a piece. So... Good to get this one done. Because it is two DVDs, I'll put this one into a small satchel uh, and it should be good to go. So $28, about a $20 sale price, $10 each. So diving into my video game collection now, we've had a sale come through on the Nintendo Wii and it was this one here. So Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes. I see this one quite a bit actually in the thrift and uh, I did pick it up a little while ago now. Not sure on the sale cycle for this one, but we did get the sale come through on a best offer for $12.50. So it's not a real big winner, guys. To be honest, next time I see it, I'm probably going to pass on it. Um, take out $4.50 because I'm always doing tracked postage with any DVDs or video games. Um, this one's been an $8 sale. I bought it for $2. So really, guys, I'm only making myself about a $4 or $5 profit when you take everything out on this one. A few wins off my Facebook Marketplace wholesale purchase as well, guys. Remember, $0.68 cents each. They all sell for $10 plus on eBay. The first one that I've got for you here is Lucy. This DVD has sold for $9.50, but it has sold internationally to Thailand. And I put a $30 international postage charge across every single one of my orders. This one, with the Australian Post My Business Plan discount, goes to Thailand for $18. So I've been able to profit an extra 12 bucks because it went internationally brings this sold price up to $21.50. Not too bad off 68 cents. And then the other DVD is Jacob the Liar. This one has sold for $10.50. I'll do $4.50 worth of a large tracked envelope anywhere around Australia. So this one is actually now a $6 sale. Take out your fees, take out posts, cost of goods and the rest of it. This one's about a $5 profit. And if you had every single one of these DVDs going for a $5 profit, you'd be earning some pretty good money. So I do think there's a real good place there for DVDs and for media in general on eBay. I'm always getting these ones just slowly trickle through each and every day. Also had some winter boots sell as well, which should be just here. Here they are. So these uh, winter boots, Columbia, um, really nice pair. Valara is the make or the name, I guess, of these exact ones. So the Valara Columbia women's winter boots, they've sold for $62. And 50 cents so not too bad of a sale price there i did pay a little bit for these though they ended up um, being a 20 dollars purchase so in the end the profit's only going to be about 28 dollars, i believe from memory on these ones um because of the high purchase price um yeah I, I definitely think that i probably could have potentially got a couple more dollars but then again they did sit up there for about two months on ebay so there was a slightly longer sales cycle than normal with these ones but still, right time of year to be selling these sort of shoes and uh, to get a $62.50 price, I thought that was pretty good. And then the last item that sold yesterday was this Tommy Hilfiger polo shirt. So this one sold for $26.95 and uh, when I break it all down, I bought it for $8.00. This one's sat up for a very, very long time, like all Tommy Hilfiger polo shirts do for me. So for that reason, I have actually stopped buying them. But when I break down the numbers, an $8 purchase into basically a $20 sale, take out your fees and everything else, it ends up being about an $8 to $10 profit. And for that reason, I've just really kind of stopped doing these uh, polo shirts. They just take a while to sell and you're not getting a huge return for it. So I've sort of eliminated this from my thrift list and uh, I'm happy to just get rid of it to get it out the door. There's a few more polos that I used to pick up that I will move over the next couple of months. But that's probably going to be it for the, uh, for the polo shirts. They're just too common and they just take too long to sell for a, a small return. 
So there we go, guys. It was a slightly slower day on eBay yesterday with $160 worth of revenue coming through. I typically do about $300 a day. So it was about half a normal day's worth of work. Uh, as you can see here, media is dominating, um, obviously getting rid of some old stock, as I mentioned, and then the shoes. They're just a consistent seller for me. But I do my post every second day. So these will all go out in the mail tomorrow. Uh, as much as it was a smaller day, I'm still thankful for every sale that I get come through on eBay. been a really productive morning so far guys all my listings are done for the day had a really good face of marketplace pickup as you would have seen there that was a pair of levi strauss 501 jeans i flicked them for 40 dollars didn't pay a lot for them in the thrift but i probably could have got about 60 or 70 if i whacked them up onto ebay but um yeah no fees on marketplace i'm happy to go for a bit of a lesser price uh we're gonna go and pick up a really cool item that i've been able to source off facebook marketplace and I reckon I'm gonna be able to make about 150 bucks for it when it does go on to sell. So I'll take you along for the ride and we'll go and pick up that item in a second. But before we do get that item, there are two op shops just around the corner from where we're picking it up. And I'm just gonna walk myself in there and try and come away with a couple of beauties. So no guarantees obviously, but let's take the camera in there and we'll see what we can find in the thrift. And then we'll go and get this really cool Facebook Marketplace item that will hopefully make us some pretty good money in a short space of time. An awesome start to this mini trip to the thrift with full house. I've got seasons five, six, seven, and eight here, all with a $2 price tag. Not too bad, these ones will go on to sell, I think maybe about $15 a piece. You can always rely on Bob the Builder as well. I've found two of those and a Teletubby, and then about seven Wiggles DVDs. These are all actually a pretty clean disc, so I have picked up every single one of these for a dollar a piece. I'll definitely be doing some bundles with those. This Teletubby though, probably the pick of the day to be honest, $44 worth of resale value, and it was a bit of a Wiggles theme. I found Dorothy, a 1997 plush toy that goes for about $25. So all in all, guys, it's been a bit of a kid run, to be fair. But um, the kids' guys, uh, the kids' items, I should say, go really well. Had a bit of a look in the uh, the hats, and uh, unfortunately, there was nothing in there. I always like to check that section because you just never know what you'll find. Uh, had a good look around the clothing. Had a good look around the shoes, but unfortunately, DVDs and the Dorothy plush was the best of the bunch in this one. One thing you can always count on, guys, is the Wiggles. Really happy to get that. And also that Teletubbies. I think that goes for about $44 pre-owned. So uh, just some ridiculous DVD purchasing. My newfound love for DVDs continues, guys. And it was a bit of a Wiggles uh, run as well because I found Dorothy and he goes for about $25 as well. So uh, $16.50 spent in the very first op shop run. I was in there for no more than about 12 minutes. Uh, very much just an in and out uh, sort of a trip and, and we're off to the second one now for pretty much hopefully the same sort of result. Now I normally start my run in the shoe section but these Adidas tights actually caught my eye. They were a size medium, there was a $4 tag on them and I really like the pattern down the leg. So I have ended up grabbing these ones guys and then directly under the leggings I found the ASICs. You guys know I love my ASICs. These are the ASICs GT2130, not too bad of a sole there, $8 on the bottom. I'm happy to take these ones as much as they are some old school grandpa shoes. I did take them. And then we've got this really cool Cubs uh, vintage style sweater. Uh, it's a size large red jacket on the tag. I haven't heard of that, but this sweater was a real nice one in very good condition. So I'm a big fan of the US uh, American sports over there in major league. So I have grabbed that Chicago Cubs jumper. And then this one as well, bit of Stoke uh, merchants. As Stoke. Uh, I have gone ahead and grabbed it as well. From memory, let me have a look at the tag. It was, yeah, five bucks. So I couldn't be saying no to that. Size large, a very, very cool piece. And then the last one, a great brand for you guys to be looking out for, Paul and Shark. I think this one, yep, XL on that one there, and I've only paid a $4 price point. So this one was a good one. I'll be able to turn that one into about $35 for a Paul and Shark uh, polo shirt in very, very good condition. So a few clothes in this one, a pair of shoes, not too bad, guys.
So last week, a friend of mine asked me to deliver some items to the local op shop, and I go out three to four times a week, so it's no real stress to me. But it dawned on me that there might be a real opportunity for anyone out there that goes to op shops frequently, all the thrifters out there, to put up a listing on Facebook Marketplace saying that you will collect other people's op shop items that they want to have donated, and you'll deliver it to the op shop for them. You'd be able to charge 10 to $20 for this service, and you'd also gain the benefit of actually being able to sift through their items before you give it away as a donation. You're getting items for free by doing it that way and you're also charging for a service. So you're almost getting paid to collect items. It's, it's almost like a, a rubbish removal service in a way, but you're potentially grabbing some great items and you're probably going to the op shop anyway to do some thrifting for yourself. So. Um, while I did that for a friend, it really just sort of clicked on me that I could put a listing up on a marketplace and offer that service. And it'd be a great way to, to make money and gain additional stock. So just thought I'd put it into the video. It's just something that floated through my mind. Um, and I thought I'd put it into this video as well. I might be able to help some of you out there that maybe don't have a lot of time uh, to go and find great items or, or maybe even don't have a lot of money out there to be, to be putting into items. So this could be a good way to kill two birds with one stone. Very fortunate for this item to be located in one of the magnificent parts of the Gold Coast, Nobby's Beach. I actually used to live in Nobby's. It was one of the best spots to be. And uh, it's very nice to be down here on a Tuesday afternoon picking up this really awesome item off Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I really do think this will sell for about $175. I've paid $50 for it. And it's just one of those ones where they were getting inundated with inquiries and you just had to be quick. You had to get over there straight away. I secured it at 11.30 and I was over there at one o'clock picking it up. So it's back in the van. I'm gonna shoot back home right now, get this one listed back on a Facebook Marketplace straight away. I'll show you what it is in just a second, but I'm very, very happy with this one, guys. These are the ones you always wanna be finding. There it is, guys, the hall table. Picked this one up for $50 off Marketplace, and I reckon it will sell for $175, as I mentioned. It's in really good condition, only two small drawers on it. The drawers work absolutely fine, um, but really, this one's in such great nick, I probably don't even really need, need to clean this one. I think I can just do some measurements and then whack it straight back onto Marketplace. So I'm gonna go 175 and see if I can't make a quick $125 with this one. Now, when it comes to selling furniture on Marketplace, it's incredibly crucial to get the staging of the furniture correct. So I've found a, a spot in the home that it would naturally suit when it comes to the actual image or the photo that you're publishing. So as you can see here, we've got the, uh, the photo frame directly above this hall table, and I've been able to find this as well lying around the house and just brought it into position. So this should make for some really nice photos. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and list this one without any dressing as well on top of the table. Uh, you can often do that as well, maybe some flowers or something like that. But on this occasion, I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and I'm gonna go with $160 as a listing price and try and make $110 overall. But it's come up a treat and the photos and the listing should look pretty good. So I've actually got two pieces of furniture to sell now on Facebook Marketplace because I picked this one up a couple of days ago. I think it was late last week I grabbed this and I've finally got this one listed up as well for $140 offering free delivery as well. So I bought this for 50. You guys, if you're watching the channel, would commonly see me pick this one up. It's just such a fast mover. I've just listed this one. I've just listed the hall table. Hopefully, there's three hundred dollars worth of resale value. Hey, mate, what are you doing? I thought you were going to be helping me. You're just running around. All right, fine. Lucky you're cute. Hey, good girl. Oh, all right. See ya. So we've got a heap of stuff, guys. So I'm going to put all this into the system. Just creating the thumbnail for today's video. I uh, do this uh, before I do the video uh, each and every week. So I'm happy actually with the way this one's turned out. Let me know what you think of that one there. I think that could be one of my very, very best, but uh, that's just me. Hopefully, well, clearly it's worked because you guys are here watching the video. 
So there you have it guys, uh, a huge day. We did some thrifting, got some listings done, grabbed the sales from overnight. That furniture, that hall table is gonna make me 150 bucks. I just know it. Um, thank you very much for being here. If you're still watching now, I can't thank you enough. I did just wanna shout out to Chris Furlong for sending me through his jumper further your lifestyle. It's a very, very comfy fit and it will be available for you guys to purchase over on Chris's channel uh, through Instagram, through YouTube. The guy is everywhere and he is a ripping fella. I was on his podcast not too long ago. So uh, thank you very much for that, Chris. It is an absolute ripper. Uh, if you're still here watching now, thank you very much. Trip to the thrift on Thursday. Very much looking forward to that one, guys. We'll see you soon.